All right, time for the Fox 26 Tropical Update. Remember, we're here every day of hurricane season, diving in and giving you that in-depth discussion about what's happening in the tropics. Sometimes there's a lot to talk about. Sometimes, well, maybe not so much. Today's kind of a mix of that actually a little bit because we get to talk about some things that are happening and then we get to talk about things that might be happening, but really not a high certainty uh, of that. I will say this with some certainty that the Gulf and the Caribbean are very quiet right now. Nothing really to watch at the moment. We're going to circle back and discuss the Gulf here a little bit more in a minute. But what we are kind of watching is a tropical wave that's out in the Atlantic. This is the same tropical wave that's really been watched for the last three to four days. And it's been just kind of slowly kind of rolling along here. And the National Hurricane Center once they after after they look at the satellites real close, they'll say, ah, oh, it's a 10% chance that it'll do something. And then they look at it again in the next pass or so, and they say, well, maybe a 20% chance. And they look at it again, and it's a 10% chance. So it hasn't ever really showed any strong signs of development, but it's the most possible for development that we've got out there. But the window is pretty narrow, and it's continuing to get a little bit more narrow. So. The latest from the National Hurricane Center has a 10% chance in this general area that we could be looking for a tropical formation. If it were to form into something tropical, and really even if it doesn't form into something tropical, it's expected to kind of remain pretty much just west wordly moving and that's going to keep it in the in the Caribbean and not really expected to make its way into the Gulf. So that's going to be one of those th systems that again, it's a pretty narrow window. We're running out of time for it to kind of even make its way to do anything. And part of that has to do with some Saharan dust. You know, the dust is something that's very common here in June and July. And because of that dust, the Atlantic is an area that doesn't really form a lot of activity. So we're kind of watching that area, but as that dust continues to move on in, it's we're really kind of help prevent anything from forming. So not looking great for Invest 94L right now, but again, the possibility is there and we'll continue to monitor that. So I talked a little bit about that dust and where we would see things form. I'm gonna jump into August here for just a minute because what we're seeing right now with a little bit of activity way out in the Atlantic, that's a lot more like what we would see in August where we're watching this central portions of the Atlantic. Uh, we're also watching, obviously, the Gulf. We're also watching close up along the East Coast for possible hurricane formation. But this is the same sort of setup. If you remember last year, early in July, we had barrel that formed way out in the Atlantic. That was also unusual because normally we wait things wait until August or September to see this formation happening out here. So just kind of interesting how we've kind of jumped into some sort of August like patterns already, even though we're really only finding ourselves in July. So here's what we would normally be watching for July. And I know we're kind of more than halfway through July, but there's still some July left that I'd like, I'd like the things to start or keep acting like July, I'll put it that way. So normally we're watching some other areas right along the coast, the east coast here of the US, and then also right along the coast of the northern coast of the Gulf. And that's where we've actually seen activity over the last week. If you'll remember last week, we were watching that tropical uh, mess. I'm going to call it just a tropical mess because it never really got itself organized. It was just sort of skirting right along the coast here and was never able to become a tropical system. Hurricane Center was certainly watching it for a while. We're going to roll through our future cast and we're going to get down into the later portions of the week. And you're going to notice we're still seeing a lot of moisture. It's not organized in a tropical sense, but as we keep rolling, you're going to see every once in a while a little bit of spin that's trying to take place. And that little bit of spin is enough of a concern because that's what would happen here with the possibility of, of maybe getting something that's tropical forming. So we're now down into Thursday. If you're in the Houston area, you're going to see that our rain chances begin to increase as well. Once we get into Friday, those rain that rain will come. Did you see just a little bit of a, of a swirl there? 
It's not enough of anything happening right now that the Hurricane Center is officially identifying it, and it's not enough of anything that I want to start waving some flags or anything around, but it's just that next spot to kind of watch a little bit because this is at least Friday or Saturday before we really get too interested in this. And again, this is going to bring the rain, that Gulf moisture, that tropical mess is going to bring rain again to the Houston area. And this is a very similar pattern to what we saw last week as we watched that moisture kind of skirt in right along the northern portions of the Gulf. And then we kind of get into the weekend and it kind of quickly dissipates. But no matter what, whether it's tropical or not, which again, I don't think it's going to be tropical right now, it will be a rainmaker. Notice how we're going to be collecting two to three inches of rain at least. We'll have some isolated spots uh, moving across Florida and then maybe even closer into the Louisiana and Texas that could have those four to six inch total rainfall amounts. So this is the next seven days, but this is all basically happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And if you're in Houston, then again, we're not even really looking for it on Thursday much. It's really Friday and Saturday. So just a quick reminder here, if you uh, want to click over to YouTube, that's a great way to see our tropical forecast. It's also on Fox Local as well as fox26houston.com. But if you go to YouTube, you'll also find my YouTube channel. You search meteorologist John Dawson and you'll find my hurricane gear test. A great way to think about preparing for hurricane season while we're not in a very active time. So check that out again. You go to YouTube, you search for meteorologist John Dawson. That'll do it for our tropical update.